Hey everyone, Blake LaGrange here from Mastering.com and today we are chatting with Dennis who we're going to take a look at how he was able to go from a corporate world in consulting and start his journey toward full-time music. So you're going to want to check this out. Before we dive into anything, Dennis, do you want to just give people like a pretty good understanding of where you're at in terms of just who you are? Are you a musician? Are you a producer? What's your background? Just tell, you know, I guess us a little bit more about you. Okay. Um, yeah, mainly I'm a musician. I've been doing it so long at this point, uh, playing guitar, drums, sing, uh, singing guitar being my main thing. And uh, I got out of it for a while just doing, you know, work life stuff. Like I'm a computer programmer, marketer, so kind of took away from the music thing but now I'm older and I'm like okay I gotta give it one more shot you know <laughs> yeah so I'm trying to create an EP and I've been learning a lot of stuff on my own like um mixing and then uh, I came across uh your uh, ad there and I was like huh I'm, I'm not that good at mixing like at all <laughs> I'm only learning but then uh mastering you you mentioned uh a lot of mixers don't even know how to set it up for mastering. And I'm like, huh, well that, if you kind of like starting from the end going backwards, I'm like, that sounds pretty cool. And I'd like kind of to replace my uh, current uh, job. Not that it's bad. I love my job. I mean, it's pretty cool, but it's not music. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> cool, I man. love the idea of mastering and uh, talking to Matt, I believe. Yeah. Like such a perfect fit. So. Yeah. Yeah. No, Matt's awesome. Yeah. He was telling me all about you right before you dove in and I was just so excited to have you on. So basically you're a diehard musician. I mean, playing guitar and drums and so forth. And you have this EP um, that you've been looking to put out. And so that's your background. You obviously have um, background outside of music as well, but you're primarily wanting to, you like the idea of maybe doing this more full time. So that's, that's kind of who you are, what you're doing. I know you're relatively new to, to diving into Accelerator, but I think this will be really helpful because this will give people a really good kind of vibe and experience of like, okay, what's it like, like for different people at different stages. So I guess right before we go into how it's been, what were sort of the, you almost t- you touched on it a little bit just now, but what were the main sort of reasons or problems that you were experiencing right before diving in that made you be like, okay, I really think that this would be great for me to like to dive in and work with me. Well, what were those sort of major things? What was the motivation behind all of that? At very, very first was I want a really great sounding EP. <laughs> you know, that was like my main motivation. I'm like, okay, at least if I, okay, I could like get somebody from sound better or something to do my mix if I really wanted to. And then I'll learn how to master it on my own and it'll sound like a, like it says, the Grammy producing uh, EP, you know, that was my uh, main motivation. But then, yeah, again, just to know that I could create that kind of quality. Right. Uh, at this point, it seems like, honestly, a little overwhelming because I hear some of the stuff people do and what I'm doing. And I'm like, oh, man, I am so far from the goal right now. <laughs> <You know? laughs> but, I, but I love the way you teach. So um, I am totally for that. Like, uh, the best way for me to learn is to try something, try something. And then when I've tried, tried, tried and failed, failed, then the answer comes and I'm like, boom, now it really sticks. You right. Know? Yeah. It really but solidifies. I like the, yeah. I like the way it's set up. I like the way it's set up. It's like, I don't care if you know make mastering or not, give this a try. Give right. this a try. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're referring to basically the whole method, which is from day one, you're mastering and you're, even though I don't say or what, like how to do anything or what to do. It's just, let's throw you in the fire. So your main motivation was obviously first and foremost, you want your EP to sound awesome, but two, it's like, it's, it's fun to, to think of the idea of like, how, how do, how do we bring this more into sort of a, a business side of things as well and offering this to others? So that's fantastic, I guess. So kind of moving forward a little bit now, you've been in mastering accelerator for how long now? A few weeks? I'm trying to remember a couple, a couple, a couple weeks. weeks. Okay. Got it. So how, I guess for somebody who's only into it a couple of weeks, how has it been? What's it been like? What are the main things that are most exciting, most jarring, most pivotal, most life-changing, I guess, just how's it like just only going a few weeks into this? It's pretty cool. I love the, uh, the 
community for sure. I mean, it's so inspiring to see people like, hey, just got a new client or, you know, <laughs> it's like, wow. And, and listening to these people's masses and, and I'm like, I just put a post. I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm liking the uh, assignment you put up. It always sounds better than mine. So I'm like, I have something to go by, you know, and he's like, he's like, yeah, but it wasn't always like that. So I'm like, okay, that's pretty cool. That's inspiring. Totally. totally. So the compute, the com pretty, pretty amazing right there from the start, you know, and they're very supportive and yeah. you are always jumping in there, which usually, uh, you know, with courses or whatever, the people who start the courses, <laughs> you could barely ever even hear from them and right now we're talking on a meeting <laughs> <laughs> totally man yeah i'm it's the only reason i have facebook is so i could be a part of the community <laughs> i have like you should see my facebook i'll maybe i'll post it on the facebook group i just if you log into my face group it's just a blank wall i put like a chrome extension to get rid of all the notifications and then i only have it set up to see what the mastering.com community is doing so it's like it's just my people <laughs> so that's that's fantastic so for you, the community has been really helpful. What about the workload, workflow? What, have you, what are you noticing in how you're working through things, especially as you're thinking as a musician, how it applies to what you're doing? What are some kind of nuggets that you've been able to take away from it currently that helps you reframe your mind of, you know, going forward into, into what you've been doing, which is mixing and mastering? Well, jumping right into it, I was doing what I thought would be good for mastering. And, uh, but then I just got uh, into the uh, ending of the second week, I think it was, or getting a third, I don't remember, where uh, you actually show how to set it up in your doc, how to session, set up a session, and I'm like, oh, wow, that was like eye-opening right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like, I love the way it's organized and how you come about doing it. I'm like, huh, I would, ne I would never have thought of that on my own, ever. <laughs> sure, yeah. yeah. I love it, man. Yeah, once you start diving into it more, I think you're, you're going to be in for a real treat. So getting sort of the gain staging set up and having everything dialed in before you even touch an EQ has already been a way to reframe how you're approaching the mastering process. It seems like the game station. Hell yeah. That was an awesome video. Yes. Like how to set it up before you set, send it to a master, you know? And I'm like, right. Oh, oops. I've been doing that wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's always eye opening to see things like how other people are doing it and go, Oh my gosh, how far off was I? How close was I? It's always fun to see, to see all that stuff and discover that in terms of, like your EP, um, what's your plan for your EP? Because uh, is it the idea is that you're going to go through all of this and then go back to your EP? Or are you going to bring the EP to me on like a call and are we going to work through it together? Or are you going to kind of do attack it from all these different angles? What are you thinking through in terms of your, your EP that you're putting together? Pretty much what you said, yeah. <laughs> uh, first of all, finish it. It's, a, it's an endeavor doing it all by myself. But uh, again, I hired a couple of... Uh, session musicians to help me finish it off some great ones I actually ended up taking drum lessons from one of them because he's so amazing I'm like all right cool <laughs> but uh finish that up and uh at the same time progressing with this and uh get to the point um yeah once it's mixed which is another yeah. obstacle I'll deal with when I get to you know? <laughs> right and uh once that's done yeah definitely bring it in here so I, I learn and finish at the same exact time and so when that's done, you know, I'll be doing that the marketing for that, which right. is this, and I'm still going to be working. So right. <laughs> as soon as I get to a level where I could start getting uh, mastering clients or whatever, then just, it's going to be a point where it's just like, eh, yeah. I'll be doing both at the same time. And then, eh, <laughs> you know? right, right. Yeah. So Do, doing two full-time jobs and then switching it is like crucial. <laughs> um, <laughs> Thanks so, it's yeah, it's, yeah. I make enough, I'm a consultant, so I make enough where I just work a few hours. So it's oh, easy that's to perfect. Not be like <laughs> you know? that's perfect. Yeah, I mean, so how has it been for you in terms of like time management? Because you're having to do your job, do your music with your EP that you're putting together, and then this. Like, how how have you been able to manage it? How is it set up? I guess for for somebody who's like you, who's working and doing a lot of other things. How is this sort of format set up for you and how has it been helpful or whatever? Like, how's that, how's it been for you? Oh, uh, it's worked fine. Um, as, as long as I, I just make sure that I put in at least, at least an hour a day on mastering.com. Uh, but yeah, the rest of the time, yeah, <laughs> I have such a routine now. Like I wake up, practice vocals, get that going, then eat breakfast and work. And then as soon as that's done, then I, I 
dive into practicing drums, uh, guitar, and then uh, and then uh, working on the EP and mastering. I like to leave the mastering part towards the end of the night where I'm more like everything's out of the way, yeah. relax, focus. You know, sure. <laughs> I got my cup going, and uh, yeah, if I run out of time, I usually watch a lesson and execute the assignments the next day, and then watch the next assignment. Right. Usually, it's like that. Got it. So you have a pretty good workflow kind of juggling all this. Doesn't seem to be too overwhelming either. It seems like you're able to manage it pretty nicely. I am so far. <laughs> yeah. Cool. So far, yeah, well, it'll get more intense, but that'll be that'll be interesting to come to. Let's I guess talk about I'm curious to know where you're at in terms of obviously I know that it's been helpful in terms of the formatting and the commute and the community and, and how everything's set up. And I think we got a little bit of a taste for what it's like to be a couple of weeks into this, but I guess if you were to talk about where you are at currently after just going through a couple of weeks, where are you at in terms of just your mindset, your, your skill set? You know, there's a long ways to go, no doubt, but where you're at currently just in this little chunk, what would you say has improved? What would you say has opened your mind? I mean, just kind of where you're at right now. Well, definitely the assignments as I've been going through it, they have been getting better even without, um, going into EQ and compression and stuff like right. that. You know, the little bit that I know, I just kind of play with it. And I'm like, I just really turn up knobs, turn down knobs so I think it sounds okay, you know? But uh, yeah, it's it's been helpful. And and the, the lessons with the game stage and stuff that helped me get there. So it's sounding better. Each one is sounding better than the last. Nice. That's for sure. Cool. You know? So. And your videos where you show a little hint of, okay, this is kind of what I did here. You know, it's, that is a great starting point. So. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I, I'm a little bit better in a tiny, tiny, tiny uh, period sure. that I've been doing. Sure. Better than where I started, that's for sure. Cool. Yeah. I mean, so then what are you most excited to, for? Because I know you've probably have a game plan of what it's going to be like to continue doing this and implementing this, whether it be compression or business stuff or mastering for vinyl i don't know like what what are the things that you're most looking forward to and most excited about i really just want sound you know that like radio ready record ready sound to create because to me that seems so overwhelming because from where i am it's it's just like a little kid looking up me i could do that you know <laughs> so it just seems really big but it just i feel comfortable that you'll get me there you know? sure yeah so i'm really about the business part and all that I love business and marketing, so I'm pretty confident in that. So it's it's mainly that, getting cool. the technical. That's yes. what I'm so excited about. Totally, man. Yeah, because it's twofold. It's really, you can't go out into the business world and start charging pro rates unless technically you're there and you're technically proficient. So it's really 50-50 in that regard. And so for you, you're just waiting for the moment and it seems like you're getting there for it to click and go, oh my gosh, it's it's starting to sound the way it sounds in my head. Once you can do that, I imagine it would be like, now I'm going to implement this into my own music with my EP. And then it's just, okay, let's replicate it, but for other people, <laughs> you know? So that seems to be, exactly. yeah, the kind of the main drive here. My EP is going to be the first thing in my portfolio. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. And I, what I would love to do is just when that's ready, even right before it's mixed, I mean, you know, this with like our calls and stuff, like bring it to a call and like, let's, let's work through it. Let's come up with a game plan and, 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 you know, I'll get in your DAW if we need to, or, or I'll share my screen or just send me the files and then we'll, we'll get it sounding awesome either way. So I think the combination of your effort and your application of kind of what, what we basically train you to do is, as well as just kind of a personal attention. I think, I think we'll absolutely be able to expedite the sound that you have in your head <laughs> with, with your EP. And then taking your marketing skills and business skills that you are doing with your consulting, just applying that to the techniques that I basically lay out. I think you're just going to hit a home run with this, man. It's just, I'm excited to see it. I guess. Me too, man. Sounds very exciting. For sure. Yeah. I guess the last thing I'd like to ask is, I guess I have a couple more questions. One, I guess for people who are very serious about their music, who are kind of on the fence or thinking about doing Mastering Accelerator, I mean, what would you say to them and would you recommend it? Oh, yeah. Um, I definitely recommend it. It's like, I mean, pro levels. I've had, I've done so many courses, you know, and like I said, uh, the, the main part is that you're so accessible. It's not a 
thing with many other courses. You know, you could get one of those like $100, $200 courses and just try it yourself, but there's no feedback. There's no anything. Right. So very, very worth it. I mean, it's like perfect. I mean, the idea that in nine weeks <laughs> I might be at that level where I can start making an income and have this professional sounding thing, it's so exciting. Nobody can promise that. They just say, you know, we'll make it sound better, hopefully. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, totally. I love it, man. the videos at home. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm like so confident in your ability to take action and do this, man. I've, I've got no doubt in my mind that you're going to pull this off. In terms of, I guess the last question is you're a musician and you have a lot of background in that as well. And you're kind of multifaceted, multi-talented for people who are in the same position you are and, and doing this themselves. I mean, you have a lot of experience here. What, what, what's your advice to them? I mean, kind of your one point or bullet point advice, something that you'd like to give people to, uh, that you've seen the most success with, with yourself in music and just in general. Yeah. In, in music, in generally speaking in music. Yeah. All right. Um, I mean, somebody once told me something, um, if you find yourself like after a few hours doing something and all that time has passed and you're like, well, that's something you're passionate about. You know, if you're counting every second for it to end, that's not what you're passionate about. Right. So music i mean anybody who loves music understands this it's it's passion and it's just something we could we could do like 24 hours a day you're like food what was that you know yeah oh my god i forgot to eat which <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah I, the, the, the idea is and i know it sounds contradictory to what i'm doing um concentrate on like one thing and just go for it put your everything into it yeah i'm doing a lot of different things but you know you know what? They're all music based now. Right. So I consolidate it into music. Yeah. And I'm trying to strategize it in a way. So yeah, just put everything you got into the one thing you want to happen. Because once you spread yourself thin, it's, it's nothing happens. So. I love it, man. I love it. I very much agree with you, by the way. Just if you're passionate about it and you're realizing that the time has gone by and you haven't even noticed, probably a good indication that you can you should continue doing that and pour yourself into it. Well, um, is there anything else you'd like to say? Uh, Now's your chance. If not, then we can sign off. <laughs> uh, not really. Other than, uh, again, I'm really, really, really excited. I'm happy as hell that I made the decision to start up. Once I got in, you know, it was like all, how do you call it? A seller remorse idea. Right. It was just gone. I'm like, oh, yeah, I made the right choice here. That's really encouraging to hear, man. I'm, so I'm very, I'm, very excited. I'm so, so encouraged and, by and that. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I'm seriously so encouraged by that. And, dude, I've got absolutely no reservation at all about about what your goals are and what you're trying to obtain i'm like i'm just i'm your biggest fan and i'm going to try to support you any way i can man so virtual high five <laughs> <laughs>